Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and welcome to a brand new series. That's right, I have got a brand new series which is now started on my channel which is gonna be following the journey of me moving out. I'm moving home. I'm moving out for the very first time and I'm moving in with my boyfriend, Pete. So I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys and I thought I would start off with a few homeware hauls. Now, we're not gonna be moving in till about halfway through the year but I'm a very organized person so I thought I would start preparing now and getting things because you don't realize how many things that you need or at least I didn't until I started shopping and yeah it's all very exciting so I'm gonna get on with it because I have a lot of things to get through if you're brand new to my channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to be a part of our weird magical online family but without further ado here is my first home haul part one Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was this colander and I really wanted a nice one. I didn't want to go with a boring silver one because you can go that little step further and be a bit more exciting. So I got a cream one, which is a neutral color. And I also noticed that it had little love hearts as the holes, which I personally think is really cute. I don't know how cute Pete's gonna think that is. But um, yeah, so I got a colander and it was about six pounds, I believe, from the range. Another home essential. I bought a sieve, how exciting is this? I know. Um, again, I think I got this from the range, I'm not sure, but it wasn't very expensive. It was about one or two pounds, I believe. Um, there's nothing much I can say about a sieve. Next up is where a color theme kind of begins, and I'm gonna start off with this. This is a utensil, um, and it's a slotted spoon from Dunelm, and I got the copper handle range, it's so nice. Um, I really love copper, Pete loves copper as well, so I was like, I'll get those, I know he will like them, and thankfully he did. So also within that range, I got Pete a ladle, because I knew that he wanted one of these. Pete's mad about cooking, he's a really good cook. Like, I'm so blessed to have found a man that can cook and I've also got a slotted turner but let's be real it's just a spatula but yeah again with the copper handle just really really nice all from Dunelm I think these were about £3.60 each and then I have a spaghetti server Pete says that he's never used a spaghetti server but they're really useful when you're making spaghetti. Um, so yeah, that is the last of those in that range that I got. Next up is something so exciting, you're not even gonna believe it. I got a kitchen roll holder. This was from Home Bargains. Um, it's chrome. I think it cost about two pounds, maybe three pounds, but very inexpensive. And it has like this little thing which kind of keeps the paper in a roll, so I quite liked that. Nothing too exciting, but you need somewhere to put your kitchen roll. I then got this for Pete. Uh, this is a bar and wine bottle opener because he loves drinking a glass of wine occasionally and I've started drinking it too. Rosé, don't like red, not a big fan of white, but yeah, rosé is my wine for sure. But yeah, it's one of those that's a little dancing lady and I think this was about two pounds. Again, inexpensive, can't remember where I got this from. It was either Home Bargains or B&M. I then got a pair of kitchen scissors, which is hilarious because you do actually need a pair of scissors or something to open the scissors. Blows my mind with that logic. These were two pounds from Matalan in their home section. And yeah, just a pair of kitchen scissors. Very, very useful to have in the kitchen. Now I'm really trying to remember where I got these from. If you've never heard of these or used one of these and you like cooking, these are a life changer. These are called magic whisks. I think they're about one or two two pounds, really not expensive at all, but they will get lumps out of anything and it's just one of those things that's a life changer. So I got two of these because I love them so much. We have them in my house so I thought I definitely need some of those in mine and Pete's house because it's surprising how much I do actually use these. So I got two magic whisks and yes, it has magic in the title which made me want to buy it even more. Next up, I got a lemon juicer. Again, I think this was about a pound, maybe two pounds. I think it was from the range. And I like lemon juicers. I use it when I do lemons for pancakes or if I need lemon or lime juice in cooking. But yeah, it's one of those things that you don't really think about buying. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I will get one of those. So little lemon juicers, they're really great. They catch all the pips in this bit and then they have all the juice around the edge and it has a little lip to pour it out, these are great. Now the next couple of things, they're not necessary, but they were kind of necessary to satisfy my organization 
freakiness. So I saw these in a haul from Brummy Mummy of Two and I was just like, that is such a good idea. I need to jump on that bandwagon. These are fridge organizer containers. I think they're about two pound each. These are the small ones. So you can keep like, it's just to organize your fridge and I can't wait to do that. This kind of thing is thrilling me to the point you wouldn't even believe. So I got two of the smaller fridge storage boxes because I don't want to go too wild. And then of course I had to get a medium one for some things that are bigger. Maybe meats like hams, bacons and that kind of thing. Or maybe even cheese because me and Pete, we are huge cheese fans. Um, we love us some cheese. So yeah, I got a medium one. I may get more of these in the future, but I thought for now, I'll just get one of the medium and two of the small ones. And of course, when you're in a kitchen, you're gonna need tea towels when you wash up or dry your hands or make a mess. And I got these Egyptian cotton tea towels. It's a pack of two for £2.99 from Dunelm and they're just neutral. I'm going for a neutral slash copper theme in my kitchen, but yeah, I really like neutral. So I got two of those and they're great because they're 100% cotton. We're getting onto some of the bigger stuff now and this excites me. This was in the sale at Dunelm. I think originally they're quite expensive, but I got this 32 centimeter tea fowl frying pan for 16 pounds. Um, I love tea fowl, it's non-stick and it's just a frying pan. Frying pans excite me now. I've got to that age where things like this are thrilling. So yes, I got a nice tea fowl frying pan. I then got these, these are called bar tumblers, but they're just kind of average drinking glasses. They look like this. I got these from Matalan, one pound each, but I decided to obviously just pick up a whole box of them because I think having more than two or even four is a good idea. So yes, I got those from Matalan Home. Cheap and cheerful, that's what I like. Next up, I got this with Pete in mind because he does most of the cooking. I'm hoping to cook more when I have my own place, but um, this is Pyrex. Pyrex is extremely exciting to me at the moment. This is um, a roasting dish. It's a deep roaster. It's made out of glass. You can use it in the oven. They're probably easy to clean. And it's just one of those things that you know that you're gonna need, especially when Pete loves cooking. So I got one of these. I think this was about five or six pounds. Sticking with Pyrex, I then got some jugs. These have been exciting me, I don't know why, but Pyrex things, it's just like, yes. Um, so this is a pint jug, a measuring jug, and this one is half a pint. I wasn't gonna get this one, but my mum said it would be really useful, and it's just so cute, isn't it? Look how diddy it is. Um, so yeah, those are the two Pyrex jugs that I got. That was loud. Now, I can't remember where I got these from. Uh, one is wrapped up, I'm not gonna unwrap it, they're both the same. These are ceramic white ramekins. Um, these are just really useful. Um, I use little pots like this quite often in my kitchen. So I got two of these and I think they're about 59p each, which is ridiculous. Um, and they're just so sweet. So I got two of those. Um, Ooh, I could make creme brulee, how exciting. I then got a home lighter. I don't know if we're gonna have a gas oven yet, but sometimes you need one of these, but mainly I bought this for candles around the house. It's just in the kitchen box. It will probably end up living in a kitchen drawer, hence why it's in here. But yeah, I think this was about one pound or something ridiculous, really inexpensive. You can get these anywhere. I then got this. This is a roast and rack tray and it's by the Hairy Bikers. If you've never heard of these guys, they travel on their motorbikes and do a cooking show. Pete loves them. I really like them as well. So I was like, yes, I will get that. Um, roasting tray, just your bog standard roasting tray that you're gonna probably need to roast things in. And it has a little tray, which is nice. And sticking with the hairy bikers, I also got an oven tray and it's a really nice large size and it feels really nice. It feels quite smooth. Um, so yeah, an oven tray, can't get too wildly excited about that. Again, they weren't too pricey. I got them from Home Bargains. Um, and then this is just a standard chopping board. This was £2.49. This was from B&M. It's just a white plastic chopping board. I love the plastic ones. They're very, very useful indeed. And obviously I wanted a wooden chopping board too because they're really useful. This would be more for like breads and stuff. I think I'd use the plastic one for meats and that kind of thing. This is a really large, quite thick chopping board. I think I got this from B&M as well. I think it was about three, four pounds maybe. Um, but yeah, just a nice chopping board. Why are you so exciting? Like, who am I? 
who am I getting this excited about kitchen wares? I'm not even sorry. Let me know if you guys, if any of you have moved out, you got super excited about buying this kind of stuff or if you're enjoying watching, I would love to know. Now these are more for like maybe the lounge or dining room. I just picked these up because it's not something you think about buying. They're just some coasters. They're kind of like this fake leather. There's four of them in a pack. On one side it's black and on the other side it's kind of like a sort of steely metallic color. There you go. Ooh fancy these are about two pounds or something ridiculous maybe even less than that and i think i got these from b m as well next up is something that i definitely didn't need but it was a little treat a little treat i've always wanted a cheese baking dish it's in cream so we're going with the neutral theme it comes with a little wooden knife and some chutney but i've always wanted to bake cheese like camembert and it's melted and glorious so treated myself to a little cheese baker not even sorry i then treated myself in dunelm to a little dish now pete laughed at me when i showed him this I'm not sure why. I think he thought it was just cute or something, or I was cute for buying it. Um, it's this little dish and it's white ceramic and it's in this like nice geometric sort of design. Um, I just fell in love with it. I imagined I can put nibbles in that. I can put that on my coffee table with little snacks in when I have guests. Um, so yeah, I got a nice, a nice little nibbly dish for me. Um, I know, I know. I know. And the last thing in this part of the haul, I didn't buy this week. I actually bought this a couple of years ago and it's been at my loft because we got a new one. Um, it's never been used. It's a Breville cream collection toaster. It's a two slice. Um, we're probably gonna upgrade to a four slice, but I thought for now, it's just an extra expense to buy another toaster. So I thought I've got one already. It's brand new let's use this one. So we've got our little toaster and I can't wait to toast some breads in it. How exciting is that? And that is everything out of the first kitchen box. So I'm actually gonna stop this video here and I'm gonna film another one. I'm gonna do a part two, which is going to be the second kitchen box and a bathroom box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Are you excited for the rest of this series? I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments what specific things that you would like to see. I am going to be doing moving vlogs, obviously close to the time when we're moving, but for now I'm just going to be doing hauls and that kind of thing. Might even do a Q&A with Pete, but for now this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you're excited for the rest of the series, please do give it a massive thumbs up for me. That would help me out and it would make me love you very much. So on that note, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and film part two right now. Um, Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.